Hey guys, it's Derek with Tech Connection. For this video, I'm going to go over the uh, Intel uh, Atom series CPU and motherboard combo. This is the D525MW. So, you guys are probably going to like this one. If you haven't seen it before, it's very cool. So, here's the board. I'm taking it out. Just to give you an idea of the scale of this kit, there's a dollar bill very tiny very tiny machine but a lot of power and my favorite thing no moving parts no fan nothing to break down when it's in your entertainment center for the next five years just the hard drive so we'll go over the pieces here main unit dual 1.8 gigahertz atom processor plus the motherboard this whole kit in one uh, at the time of filming this 75 bucks. So that's a really good deal. Really good deal. The processor and motherboard in one for that price. Very happy with that. It's got all the standard ports plus some legacy ports here for your for your laser printer and other old devices. This is a gigabit LAN port, so that's very nice. I haven't tested it to see if it can do the full gigabit throughput, but it does handle 25 to 35 megabits or megabytes a second just fine. Two SATA ports, takes DDR3 laptop RAM, SO DIM, uses a standard power supply, don't have to do anything funny with that, no silly little fun shuttle power supplies. Uh, one internal USB right here, standard uh, audio jack, optical audio jack, optional system fan and an internal serial port if necessary. This last one here is for flashing the BIOS via USB. No need on that one. So there's the kit. And if you're looking to buy one of these, 75 bucks sounds good. I agree. What do you put this in? Well, what do you put this in? If we go over to Newegg and we take a look at what Newegg is selling on the computer cases, you're going to want to scroll down a little bit for your type of case you're going to be looking for what's called an ITX, mini ITX, tower or desktop spine. So you can check out what they got available. They all basically look like squares, but hey, what computer doesn't? I've already gone ahead and purchased one, so I got it here. Come check it out. There it is. So let me make some room on the desk. So let me bring this guy over. So here's my dollar bill, just so you can keep a reference point for how big this thing is. I would say it's about the size of a shoebox with some boots in it, perhaps. Here's the main unit, main motherboard. So that's kind of the size of this thing. Comes with the power supply, 250 watts. All right, so how much money have I spent here? 75 on this. This unit with the power supply, $40. So that, that's a good deal. I'll just open it up so you guys can get a look inside here, see what it comes with. So there's the inside of this case. There is no way if you're a big guy that you're getting your hands in here without some patience. So when you're doing this, having small hands and steady, steady uh, grip, you'll have an easier time. If not, if you're like me where this is slow and frustrating and painful and difficult, just be patient and gentle with the thing. Try not to slip with your screwdriver. Don't force anything. You know the drill. you got to treat it like it's made of sensitive electronics, right? So it is possible, I promise, to get things in there. I was able to build it earlier. I put my hard drive in. I put a CD drive in. Got the whole thing up and running with an operating system, and I was pretty happy with it. It's very quiet. The only moving part was the fan from inside the power supply. So very happy with that. It would fit nicely on your entertainment center and not make a lot of noise while you're working. Let's move that. Okay. So this unit takes laptop RAM. So just go over installing that real fast. Like any laptop sized system, the RAM goes in at an angle. 
slips into place. DDR3 800. Okay. So that's four gigabytes. All I need now is my hard drive and an operating system to run, and you're good to go. So uses for this board, what would we use this for? Most common use is either going to be entertainment center, so you want to do VLC on your television. This would be great at playing movies as long as they're not HD. If they're HD, this isn't going to have enough power, unfortunately. This also makes a really good file server. So if you attach a hard drive or you put a RAID card, it would have to be a slightly older one, in the PCI slot, you could do file sharing all day long with this board. I've got two or three in the field right now that have been running for, boy, just like six months solid. No reboots, really good uptime. I've been really happy with it. The other thing that I use with this, uh, some folks who know me, they know what I like to do, is I like to build phone servers. So in this PCI slot, I might put a T1 interface card, give me my 23 channels, I'll load asterisk onto the machine. The dual processors are more than powerful enough to handle 23, 23 conversations. So I really enjoy using this because of its small size. It'll fit in this case, and then the case itself can go inside of a telecom closet, something like that. No fan to blow out, put an SSD in it actually looking at a very affordable, you know, sub $300 for your grand total on your build there. So I do enjoy using this, uh, this system for certain specialized needs. I don't deploy it onto the desktop for a user who's into Outlook and Word and all that because they do notice the uh, speed decrease. The Atom processor is significantly, I would say, noticeably slower than an i3 or a Core 2 Duo or something like that. So if you're a guy who opens a lot of tabs, you're going to notice the computer doesn't feel as fast. Well, that's it for that. I hope it's been interesting. If you guys have any questions, drop me a line or a comment or hit me up on Facebook. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.